And a very good day to you and welcome to the program. Let's go straight to the Gospel of John. I so love the Gospel of John, don't you? It's so refreshing, it's so simple, and it's so profound at the same time. If we go to the Gospel of John, chapter 12 and verse 32, and this is what Jesus says himself. He says, and I, if I am lifted up from the earth, will draw all peoples to myself. You see, the power is in the name. The healing is in the name. The life is in the name. The peace is in the name. The salvation of a man is in the name. And the future is in the name. It's not the name of an organization that I'm talking about today. It's not the name of a denomination that I'm talking about today. It's not the name of a NPO, a non-profit organization. And all those names that I've just mentioned are doing good. That's not the name I'm talking about. It's the name of my best friend. And he says to you and to me today, if I am lifted up, if you lift me up, I will do the rest. I will heal you. I will set you free. I will comfort you. I will be a friend to you that sticks closer than any brother. You'll never be lonely. You'll never have to find out which way should we go. He is the way and the life and the truth. And no one goes to the Father but by Him. John chapter 14 and verse 6. I want to say today, why are we looking everywhere else except to the only one who can help us. Yes, he's the weatherman. Haven't we seen it? Oh, how many times have we prayed for rain and the rain has come. He's the miracle worker. He can even raise the dead, even today. But he's so much more than all of these. He is the friend of sinners. That's the title I love more than any other title. You know, he's the plowman, he's the shepherd of the sheep, he's the great I am, he's the alpha and the omega, okay? He's the beginning and the end, but he's the friend of sinners. He's the comforter of the bereaved, okay? Just lead people who are bereaved to Jesus. He says, if you lift me up, I will draw them unto myself. He's the teacher. You know that there's some amazing Bible teachers who've had very little education, but they've been with a man from Nazareth. You know, I just love that one early church father. His name was Polycarp. And Polycarp was a bishop. And the Romans came and they arrested Polycarp. And they said to Polycarp, we are going to take you to the circus. That's what they called it, the arena on Saturday afternoon. And with all the other believers, we're going to feed you to the lions. Yes, those ravenous lions will tear your flesh apart. But we are going to burn you at the stake. And then they said, but you're an old man. And you haven't done any harm. So we're going to give you an opportunity. All you have to do is to deny the name of Jesus Christ and follow after the gods of Rome. And then, old man, we let you go and and rest in peace. You know what he said? Tears running down his face. He said, he has never left me. He said, for 86 years, he has been my friend. How can I deny him now? And they said, take him. And they burnt him at the stake. The amazing thing is that fire would not even get going. Eventually, a gladiator had to come in and stab him through the heart. And the blood gushed out of Polycarp's life and put the fire out. I want to say to you today, stand up for Jesus Christ. He's worth it. Goodbye.